Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and this is another example on how to find the missing value when you're given information about two similar solids. So, quick recap, uh, there are three types of scale factor or zoom factor. There's the linear, and it's just how the sides compare to each other, so A to B. Uh, there's the area zoom factor or scale factor. It's you take the linear scale factor and you square it because that's how many squares fit onto the surface. And then there's the volume scale factor or zoom factor and you cube it because that's how many cubes fit inside of the solid. So our goal is to use some of the information to find the linear scale factor, and then we'll use the linear scale factor uh, to find what's missing. So uh, it looks like we have both surface areas for both solids. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write this as a ratio. Uh, so we're going to write 24 over 486. And the next step is to simplify this ratio um, as much as possible. So uh, let's use our trusty old calculator. Uh, it looks like uh, 24 is, well, both of these numbers are even. So let's divide 24 in half to make that 12. And let's divide 486 by 2 and make that... 243 uh, and let's see if we could simplify this some more it looks like both numbers can be divided by three so 12 divided by three is four and 243 divided by three is 81 okay so and remember, we, we got these numbers from the, the surface areas. So we're going to look at our area scale factor. And let's zoom back out. Area scale factor is a linear scale factor squared. So we're going to set this 4 over 81 equals to A squared over B squared. And what we want to do is to get this to A over B. So the opposite of squaring something is square rooting. So we're going to square root both sides in order to get the linear scale factor. So the square root uh, gets rid of the squares here to be A over B. So we have the linear scale factor. And the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 81 is 9. So this is our linear scale factor. It's just A to B, which is 2 to 9. Now we're going to use the linear scale factor to, give, to get our volume scale factor. So what we're going to do with this 2 over 9, just write it over here. We're going to cube it because that's how volume is measured by number of cubes. And two cube, it's not six, it's two times two times two, uh, which is eight. And nine cubed is not 27, I have to use my calculator. Uh, so nine times nine times nine is 729. So we're going to use this ratio right here to help us find that missing volume. So the 136 comes from the smaller of the two solids because uh, the surface area is smaller. So um, we're going to write it in this ratio. We're going to write this 136 in the numerator with the smaller number. And then we'll just write X over here. So now we have this proportion and how do we solve proportions we're just going to cross multiply so 8 times x is 8x is equal to let's use our calculator um let's see so 729 times 136 is 99,144 and opposite of multiplying uh, by 8 is dividing by 8. And let's divide this number by 8. Hopefully it's a whole number. And it is. So 1, 2, 3, 9, 3. So what is that? 12,393. So the volume, that missing volume is 
12,393 inches cubed. So there you have it. That's how you find the volume of a solid when you have information about two similar solids. Hope that helps. Have a nice day.